guys what is up it's your girl nia from charming lashes it's been so so long i'm so so sorry you guys um a lot has been going on i was going to school um my lash business took off like i've been working non-stop um and yeah and now this quarantine happened while i was supposed to take a trip so my life right now is like upside down a lot of things are like happening so i've just been Taking a break, laying low, just chilling, and honestly, you guys, if I stay in this house another day, I feel like I'm going crazy. I just decided to record this video, talk to you guys a little bit, keep you guys updated, give you guys some updates on what's been going on with me. I know it's been so long. I know you guys haven't seen me in two months, and I'm so, so sorry about that. I actually recorded a couple videos, um, did my makeup and everything, and honestly, I just felt like the videos weren't up to par. I felt like the content wasn't good enough to post. I felt like I didn't look correct. I felt like um, things just weren't flowing well in the video. And I don't like if I'm talking to you guys, I have to keep pausing and, and like trying to fix what I'm trying to say because then I feel like it's not real. I'm just like nervous to talk on camera. Like it's so weird for me to talk on camera. I don't know why, but yeah that's what's been going on i've seen a lot of you guys comment down in my comments saying thank you so much you've helped me a lot your tips are very helpful and honestly you guys that's what i want to hear like i'm so happy that it's helping you guys out i'm so happy you guys are feeling motivated all that stuff so that is definitely pushing me to keep going it's 7 51 p.m and i was just laying in bed doing nothing like it's not like i can post a lot of stuff on my lash page because I have no clients to work on because of social distancing so I can't really do as much all I can do is just post throwbacks and all that stuff and then that left me in like a blank space because I'm like what should I post on YouTube you know it was like what content do I have for you guys I don't have any eyes to record a set on um, and I know that's what you guys want I realized that I can just work on my business stuff and record myself it doesn't always have to be a lash set so that's what I just figured to do today anyways without further ado let me not keep talking because I will be doing a lot of talking in this video before we begin don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me you guys and that notification bell so you guys can be notified whenever I upload another video so I actually have some packages that I got from Amazon uh, and I, I figured I should film how I create my lash cleansers as well as how I pack package my little um, client bags my client aftercare bags um, for every client um, it's really simple but I just figured I can incorporate that in this video so you guys don't ask for a separate video for it since it's super super short so to begin with I order most of my um, items from Amazon if you guys do not know sorry I keep looking up here I'm not used to recording obviously cleansing bottles and these are the bottles that I make my clients lash cleansers in and so I sell them as well um so these are the bottles right here I got these from Amazon and I believe I spent you know let me look 10 um there's 10 dispenser bottles and it is for $13.89 and i'll put the link down in the description box as well so you guys can check it out if you want to sell lash cleansers i also got the brushes as well and i'll put that in the description box as well if you guys want to know and these cost $8.99 and there's 10 in them um i also got these spoolies now i usually get let me show you guys <sighs> I usually get uh, these type of spoolies where it's glittery, which is super, super cute. I like fell in love when I first got it. And the, the brush, the bristles or whatever are black, but they did not have them and for, unfortunately. So I just decided to get the pink ones. I like the black ones because I don't know, it just looks super clean, but the pink ones are good as well. They're cute as well. Um, so I got these for, there's 100 in the bag. And I got it for $6.99. And then last but not least, I got my lip applicators. And this is what I use to apply Glue Aid. My mom is being super loud. Sorry, guys. But these are my lip applicators. I use it to apply my Glue Aid. I use it to apply my lash primer as well. So, yeah. And I use this also to clean my client's lashes if it needs um, extra love and care. Okay. So, this cost. And there's 200 pieces in here. There's 200? Oh, okay. There's 200 pieces in here. And this costs $6.29. So 
all of these items that I just showed you guys are on Amazon and I will put the link to those in the description box if you guys are interested. So I did wash my hands but I'm just sanitizing real quick just to be extra clean during this quarantine. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some gloves on. And this is just my process on how to make my lash cleansers because I know you guys were, um, you guys wanted to know how I made it. I did insert a little like description type in the in the which video was it i think it was a video of me doing a classic set but i like spoke to you guys about lash cleansers and i spoke to you guys about how to do it so i'm just going to show you guys how i do it and yeah so i got the bottles right here but before i use them i'm going to go ahead and wash them out just to keep them extra clean you don't know what goes on in these packages or how they make them so i'm just going to go ahead and rinse them real quick and i'll be right back Okay, you guys, so I, I cleaned out four bottles, um, and this is just to show you guys how I do it. I'm not going to record me doing every single bottle because that's just pointless. Um, so I have four bottles right here, and I'm going to show you guys how I do it, and they're cleaned already. And this is my distilled water, okay? So it's a gallon of water. I just hit the bed, but it's a gallon of water. Um, I just chose this one because it was the only one left on the shelf. Before I uh, insert the water in the bottle, I'm going to put the soap first. So I'm going to try to show you guys how I do this. The gallon of water is going to be hard to pour for you guys to see. So I'm going to just like show this part. Um, oh, by the way, let me show you guys. This is the Prolong Lash Cleanser. I took the lid off, but... This is the Prolong Lash Cleanser that I use to sell to my clients. Um, you can also sell the bottle on its own. Um, they do have wholesale uh, options on the website. But this is the Lash Cleanser right here, Prolong Lash Cleanser. It's vegan. It says Complete Care Eyelash Extension Cleanser and Daily, Daily Face Cleanser Concentrate. So it's 100% oil free and vegan friendly. And the cool thing about this is you can tell your clients that they can use this as a face wash as well. So it's not only just a lash cleanser, but it can be a face wash. So yeah, so I'm just gonna put a little bit. You don't need a lot. And I just like to eye it and squeeze about this much in here. It's a good amount. And then the rest will be filled with water. I put the water in it. So as you can see, nothing special, just the cleanser and the water. So you want to just eye it. You don't want to fill up the water all the way to the top because you are going to have to shake this. Um, so I basically just go ahead and put it in just like this. Twist it, make sure it's nice and secure. Shake it up. You want to pump it to make sure it's coming out, but I'm not going to pump it right now because I'm on my lash bed and I don't want to make a mess. But this is basically how it comes out. So I'm just going to do a quick little um, time lapse video of me filling up the bottle so you guys can see. And I'll get back to you. basically put my business cards in here and yeah just sell it and that's about it for the lash cleanser so let's move on to my lash care cards so this is basically going to be as simple as possible it's going to be super easy to make you guys super affordable um then again you don't have to use my idea you don't have to do exactly what i do but i do put my stuff down in the description box just to help give you guys ideas or if you're just starting off if you guys don't know what you should be putting in your aftercare cards or what you should write down or how to edit them don't worry i actually found a card on amazon for you guys amazon has been coming in so clutch you guys trust me i will put the link down in the description box but this is how the card looks like looks just like this and it basically all this writing is all the facts and details of what your client should and should not do with lash extensions which is what i really find very helpful for amazon to provide these cards um 
I think you guys are really gonna like them. It, it asks certain questions like, how long will my lash extensions last? And then it'll tell you. Other stuff is lash extension aftercare. This is on the back of the card. And it says, avoid getting your lashes wet for 24 hours. Um, do not use an eyelash curler on your extensions. Um, use only oil-free makeup remover on your eyes. I definitely do approve of this card. What I liked about this card that I found on Amazon is they have different types of things and that goes based off of how you as a lash tech work. If you feel like your lashes only last for two weeks, there's a card that adjusts to it and it, it basically says like to come for a fill every two weeks. There are some cards that say come for fill every three weeks. It all depends on what you like. So I will put the link down in the description box for you guys so you guys can check it out. Basically, I would take the mesh bag. I would put two spoolies in it, just like that. And then I would put the aftercare card in here. And I would also put some of my business cards, but I'm currently out of my business card. So that's something else that I need to order during this quarantine. But I would just close it up. Our returning clients and they come to you faithfully every two weeks. There's no need for you guys to be wasting your aftercare cards for them. They know by now they have some at home. We'll save these for your new clientele. That's what that's basically what I like to do for them. And these two cute little spoolies and they come every two weeks and I definitely give them new spoolies every two weeks um so yeah that's about it these are my aftercare cards and then these are my lash cleansers so definitely something you guys can use keep in mind if you if this gave you any ideas comment down below maybe other lash techs want to hear them that is basically it for this video you guys I do want to post a Q&A video after this video um just to like answer your guys's questions because there's a lot of you guys with a lot of questions so go ahead and comment those questions down below for me and i will take some quick screenshots of them and just read them on camera and answer them if i do have an answer for them this video big thumbs up if you did enjoy it don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you guys can be notified for whenever i post a new video i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys